Week 11 video question was to choose six cranial nerves and describe importance in the everyday life. I feel like all 12 are important, so I chose six that I feel are kind of, you know, more important. My first one that I chose was cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve, and this nerve carries somatic motor fibers to the muscles of the tongue. This is important. It's needed for food manipulation. It's needed for swallowing when we're eating or drinking and or just swallowing saliva. It's also important for speech when we talk to someone, which we do those things on a daily basis. Cranial nerve seven is the facial nerve. It's motor impulses to the skeletal muscles of the face and sensory impulses from the taste buds on the anterior portion of the tongue. They're used every day, so when we wake up and our face is not drooping, that's our facial muscles, they're, they're, they're working. And every time we eat or drink something, we taste it. We know if it's sour, if it's bitter, if it has no taste. Um, cranial nerve number three is the oculomotor nerve and it directs the eyeballs. It um, moves the eyelids and focuses the lens. So without the function of this nerve, we wouldn't be able to do our daily travels um, by car or driving a car rather um, if, if we were not able to get from point A to point B by ourselves, we would have to rely on someone else to do that for us. So that nerve helps us get from point A to point B and get all of our tasks done every single day. Um, cranial nerve five is the trigeminal nerve and it's major is a major sensory nerve of the face and also motor fiber, um, the motor fibers to the chewing muscles. So again, we eat every day. We need those chewing muscles to be able to um, crush our food. And um, the sensory of the face, we need to know if someone is touching our face uh, or if we're out in the sun too long and our face begins to burn, we need to know that, you know, hey, that's hot. We need to get away from it for a little while. Um, and, or if our face is cold, you, know, you could get frostbite from being out in the cold too long. Um, cranial nerve six is the ab abdicans of the eye. It, um, or it abdicate, abducts the eye. So that is again, important in everyday life, such as driving from point A to B, from home to work or home to school. We are driving and we're focusing on the road in front of us but we do need to glance over into our passenger mirror or our driver's side mirror just to check to see if we need to turn or if we need to get into a different lane. Um, and that nerve helps with that. And that is something that I do every day. Cranial nerve eight is the vestibulocochlear cochlear, and it is responsible for equilibrium and hearing. So without proper equilibrium, we would not be able to stand up. We would be very off balance and probably fall down. Um, and it's also responsible for hearing. Now, while people live, you know, very healthy lives um, without hearing, I feel like hearing is very important, especially going into the medical field. Um, or, you know, just in general, I believe that that is important in my everyday life. So those are the six nerves that I chose, but like I said, I think that all of the cranial nerves are important. Um, and that is week 11 video question.